So we're going to be practicing some covalent nomenclature as well as some formula writing here today. Uh, my first compound is going to be bromine trioxide. Now remember that covalent compounds are going to be nonmetals only, so it's going to be super quick and easy to find uh, each of the elements here on the right side of that stair step. So bromine is going to be Br. I do not have a prefix for bromine, which means I only have one of them, so I don't need to worry about a subscript. And then I have trioxide. Oxide is going to be that anion name for oxygen. Oxygen is O. And then that tri means that I have three. So it's going to be BRO3. Tetraphosphorus decoxide. Tetra means four and then phosphorus. So I'm going to have four phosphoruses. So I need to find phosphorus. When I find it on the periodic table, that's going to be P. I have four of them because it is tetra, phosphorus, and then I have uh, deca oxide. Deca is the uh, prefix for 10, and then oxide is going to be oxygen, who is O. So I am going to have 10 oxygens. So tetra, phosphorus, deca oxide is P4O10. Next, I'm going to have uh, chlorine dioxide. Chlorine doesn't have a prefix, so I'm only going to have one, and chlorine is Cl. And then dioxide, oxide is oxygen, who is O. Di means two, so that means that this is going to be ClO2. Dinitrogen pentasulfide. Nitrogen is going to be N. Di means two. Pentasulfide, sulfide is going to be sulfur, who is S. Penta means five, so N2S5 is going to be the formula for that one. Next, I have a boron trifluoride. Boron is a B. And then a trifluoride. Fluoride is going to be F for fluorine. And then that tri means that I have three of them. Boron didn't have a prefix, so I didn't put any sort of subscript down. Sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur is going to be S. Hexafluoride. Fluoride is fluorine, who is going to be F. Hexa is 6, so SF6. Next, I have uh, sulfur dioxide. Sulfur is going to be S. No prefix, no subscript. Dioxide, oxide is O, di means two, so SO2 is going to be the formula for that. Iodine dichloride, iodine is going to be I. No prefix means no subscript. Dichloride, chlorine is going to be Cl, and then uh, di means two, so ICl2 would be how that would be written. Okay, so we've gone from uh, name to formula, now we're going to go from formula to name. So here I'm going to be focusing on those subscripts first. So my first element is N, and I have a subscript of 2, so I know that I'm going to have to write die. Now I just need to figure out who N is. N is going to be nitrogen, and since uh, nitrogen is coming first, nitrogen actually gets to just stay nitrogen. It's only the second element that still has to end in I. That first one gets to keep its name. Okay, so then we have three O's. Three, the prefix for three is going to be tri. And then I just need to figure out who O is. O is going to be oxygen. Oxygen's uh, compound name with that I'd is going to be oxide. So trioxide. So dinitrogen trioxide is N2O3. P2O5. Again, I have a subscript of two, which is going to be a prefix of di. P is going to be phosphorus. Since it's coming first, I get to keep its name, phos. This should be S for us. Jesus, I'm having a hard time writing today. And then uh, the prefix for five is penta. But since I have a, another uh, vowel there, I'm just going to put pent. 
Okay, pent, and then O is going to be oxygen, who is going to turn into oxide, so pentoxide, diphosphorus pentoxide. Next, we're going to have BrCl5. Br doesn't have a subscript, so I don't have to write a prefix. I just have to write bromine. And then the uh, subscript for Cl is going to be 5, so I'm going to have penta. I don't start with a vowel there, so I can have double vowels. So penta and then Cl is going to be chlorine. Chlorine's uh, compound name is going to be chloride. So this would be bromine pentachloride. Next, I have uh, PF3. Uh, P doesn't have a subscript, so no prefix for me. Just had to figure out who P is, and that is going to be phosphorus. Much easier to write this time. And then um, I have a subscript of three, so I need that prefix for three, which is going to be tri. And then I need to figure out who F is. F is going to be fluorine. Fluorine's compound name will be fluoride, so this will be phosphorus trifluoride. Next, I'm going to have uh, SO3. No subscript for S means no prefix, so I'm just going to go ahead and write sulfur. And then uh, subscript of 3, so I'm going to put a prefix of tri. O is going to be oxygen. Oxygen will turn into oxide, so trioxide. So sulfur trioxide. Next, we have CO. So C doesn't have a subscript, so no prefix is needed. So I can just go ahead and write carbon. And then uh, O is oxygen. And there's only one of them. Now, remember that oxygen is that special guy. He uh, gets that prefix of mono for being in the second location and only having one of them. So this is going to be monoxide or monoxide, as I should have said. No double O, monoxide. Last two here, we are going to have Ni3. N doesn't have a subscript, which means no prefix. N is going to be nitrogen. And then uh, I have a subscript of three, so I'm going to go ahead and write tri. I is going to be iodine, who's going to turn into iodide. No double I, so just tri iodide. No double I. Next, we have AS4O10. AS is going to be arsenic, and I have four of them, so it's going to be Tetra, arsenic, no double A. Tetra, arsenic. And then uh, subscript of 10 is going to be deca normally, but uh, we prefer to not use double vowels, so it's just going to be dec. And then O is oxygen. Oxygen's compound name is oxide, so this is going to be uh, tetra, arsenic, decoxide. And that's it.